Well, it's Sunday night, and uh, having checked out the pods at the grocery store today, they were all looking pretty miserable and beaten. So, um, falling back on leftover pods that I had from previous uh, weeks, there, but well, at least in as good shape as the crappy ones at the grocery store. So, and I'm going to do a orange hab, then I'm going to do a red hab. That's going to be it for the first challenge tonight. It would be a challenge. I did almost the same thing the other night with the three pot. I could could have brought a, a Tai Chi a little bit. I figured tonight I'll just do the two halves, the orange and red half. And uh, and later on tonight I'm going to do a second challenge with a death ROM. And I, I tried one last uh, not last night, just Saturday morning after Friday night after work. I made uh, another death ROM, but this time I used the uh, Blair's Ultra Death, so that's about a million Scovilles. So I skipped right past the uh, the 600,000 uh, Mad Dog that gave me the punch in the stomach, and uh, managed to eat the whole bowl without incident. Uh, very very hot for sure. Got uh, sweaty eyelids and uh, might even shed a tear. Uh, didn't do it on camera because I couldn't get my microphone to work for some reason. I, I don't know what was wrong, but uh, it's working tonight. So. I'll do it again tonight uh, later on when I, when I get munchy. Um, so without further ado, orange habanero, fire in the hole. Wow, these things are so juicy. Very sweet, but still that bell pepper flavor. What a crazy thing for me to get into eating pods when I don't like peppers. Imagine. Mm. Oh, it's hot. So of course that traditional uh, you know, recognizable habanero burn. It's just a little more grating. It tastes good though. I like the flavor. Even though I don't like peppers. I guess that doesn't make a lot of sense, but heat's very good, very good for a, a non super hot. I think habanero is probably the last pepper before you go super hot. Then after with ghost or whatever, with scorpions, ghosts, they're all super hot. But then you can kind of go uh, scotch bonnet, habanero, then to the super hot. Uh, got a bubble in my jaw tonight. I don't know what the heck's up with that. Happens sometimes. That's hurts to chew. Mm. All right. Well. One down. Cheers. Well, that feels good. Start to get the, the mustache sweat a little bit. You feel it. I don't think there's going to be any tears tonight. I don't think any of these are hot enough for that. This little beauty. <clears throat> Red habanero. This should kick it up a notch. Fire in the hole. Damn. 
گپ نتیش را میدن و آجا Oh, I got a wiggle there. Wow. Definitely easier to eat the smaller pot. I don't know if the red one was much hotter than the orange one, but I'm sure it had a lot more uh, taste, a lot more flavor to it. Uh, well, <clears throat> there you have it for tonight, my two pod challenge. Heat's ramping up a little bit, but nothing too scary. For a snack, so I had the uh, the Blair's Sudden Death, which I think is the, the hundred thousand, and that's pretty good. That got a little sweat going on my forehead. I had a little too much of it on my uh, my steamed bun. <sighs> it was good. It tuned me up. It got me ready for some pod munching. I gotta say that heat heat is very respectable right now. I got a real good burn going on my tongue. Back in my mouth a little bit. Not so much in the throat. It's not beating me up in the throat. Here, let's fix that. I was very cautious when I had that death ramen after that. That first exp that experience I had with the, the mad dog. I don't ever want to feel that again. That punch in the belly feeling. Lasted so long too. But uh, the last night when I used the Blair's, the uh, Ultra Death, and I used a very healthy dollop again. Made just a regular ramen and dumped it into the soup and all on top of the Blair's, and it was very hot. The the noodles going down were hot, hot, hot. At the end, I was sipping the soup very uh, carefully, very cautiously, because I didn't want a repeat performance of the the, the gut punch. And it didn't it didn't uh, it didn't hurt me at all. It was hotter than hell. I got uh, some good sweat going, but uh, but uh, not like the the Mad Dog Silver. That that was so hot. But even when I drank it, it didn't seem like that hot in my mouth. It was good burn, but it didn't seem like too much until it got down to in my belly here. And I guess that uh, sphincter right down there was the one that gave the old one two punch, which it took me forever to recover from. I was rolled up in a ball on the stairs in the fetal position. That's something. But not because of the, the burn, because of the ache. <clears throat> Alright, well, 9.42. Two pods on a Sunday night. Hopefully I'll find some pods. I, farm boy didn't have anything interesting. Independent just had some uh, real oldies. Wasn't about to buy them. Uh, cheers.